这样。Oh shit! Right in the fray. One day, it's only employee of any any merit. Well, that happened. Crashed on uncharted planet. Well, no, it's Earth. Yeah. It's Earth. That's why you find like fucking bottle caps and yeah, calculators. Well, that's it's really this is a biologist game. That's what they halfway did with the creatures that you could actually read and all that. That this is something has happened to her. Probably a nuclear apocalypse. And Mitch, it's a Human society is gone. Well, one of the ships in one of the games does mention that uh, radiation, radiation, uh, Geiger counter keeps spiking. Which would be consistent with nuclear apocalypse, and the radiation would cause what? Po probably more rapid evolution. Which could explain why none of the living things look like anything we know. You bastards! I will go down without a fight! Yeah, they had to have done that ought to be on purpose. The exact design just to show you that this is what the game is. Louis, you don't look alive! Yeah, mouth. Nice and open. Ready? <laughs> Because that's we already know from uh, Chernobyl that some more rapid evolution can happen in areas of higher radiation, where there's a much higher chance of more significant gene damage. Yeah, notice that's Africa we're looking at, though. That was Africa. But so the possibility that all other large animals on this planet are dead. They, that they did go extinct, considering the plants are the same. But yeah, probable that the majority of large animals have gone extinct during the war and are now replaced by these smaller things. Because that's even throughout the history of Earth before. It makes sense. I shit myself. Alert! Danger! Louis is missing! He must have somehow fallen out of his cockpit. I know I fall out of my cockpit. <laughs> he is not responding by his communicator. He is either flouting protocol or in danger. Or he's dead. Straight up dead. Olimar, you must find Louis before he freezes to death on the cold of this planet. How the fuck would he freeze to death? He's in a spacesuit! <laughs> Kinda of one of the most insulated things. He could stay there for probably a couple months and not freeze to death. 
He's in a bigger threat of dying from starvation or thirst. Could these be Pikmin? They look like they are about to be devoured but as we speak. You must help them! Quickly! Press B to call them with your whistle! Captain Oliver! <laughs> you can also hold B to make the sound of the whistle carry farther. Yeah, I know! I got it! I was here before! I only just got back! Yeah, that one was straight up dead! If I can get eaten, I was lucky if I can get it went to cut right before him. Pikmin ran to your side. They seem to remember you, Captain Olimar. How fascinating. Gee, because there seem to only be like fucking five of these things in existence now. Give them instructions and do not delay. Hold, hold A to grab Pikmin and release to throw it. I mean, shit, it's, it's like he just totally breaks. Everything. You must fuck it up. Fuck it up real good. Whack it! Whack it! Whack it! Whack it! Whack it in the balls! I've reestablished my communications link with Louie. He's dead! His vital signs are gone. We need to dig a grave. <laughs> it's fortunate that I managed to confer to say you press Y to communicate with <laughs> I mean seriously, it it breaks the game breaks the game for a few seconds there to explain how shit works. So now we'll actually get into this. Welcome to Pikmin 2. Is a biologist in training. This is my kind of game, sort of. Ah, uh, the newer one's not as much. There's less biology in it. You still have that game? I don't have three. Oh, you never got that one. Right. No, because I haven't wasted my money on a Wii U. It's bad enough I have a 3DS. Ah, uh, someday. Someday I'll get a Wii U, maybe. If a lot more games come out for it. Or they realize how badly their system is. How bad their system is. Oh, whatever. Now, see, here's the air question. Now, why is the onion over here, but the Pikmin are over there behind the barriers? With no way to possibly reach here. Yeah, right. There are few things that aren't adding up here. Few things. Just not quite adding up. <laughs> that was fucking nice. <laughs> they tried to make him as goofy looking as they possibly could. Oh yeah. We just stare at it for a few hours, eventually something will happen. I think they blink eventually. I don't think so. Look at those two hollow sockets looking into your soul. I don't think it blinks ever. I think this was brain dead. <laughs> Louie, my sensors indicate that he's brain dead. Also that you're drooling all over yourself. Don't look at us! You're breaking the fourth wall! I'm breaking the fourth wall! You need to make more Pikmin? Here. Make them little bastards fuck! I'm doing this myself.
Yeah. See, now this kind of thing, I don't care what anyone says, this isn't really unreasonable that... Possibly, given time, might have plants that it can actually move. Gee, no shit, the P Pikmin need nutrients. Yeah. And the onion is the mothership. No fucking shit! Review all my report by cat. We got it! Holy shit! Do you have to tell us that like every five minutes? I think we kind of got the gist. I fucking kind of played the first game. Yeah. I played it. I died, but I played it. <laughs> Point where I always get screwed. Yeah, they're gonna naturally try and move faster by putting two. See, and now the other part that they're the Pikmin are buried underground, but for some reason you have to dig them up. These are like the only things on this planet that don't make sense. They literally require something like Almar and all that. To Actually, get them. What are you waiting on? Mm. We're gonna be here for a while. I now realized how fucked I just made this. I could have had a full set of bloomed ones already. Mm. Oh, it doesn't help too much. Mm. They're faster, they're stronger. They're faster, but they aren't actually stronger. And they hit for more damage. They do that in the new game. They don't do this, that mm. here. Not really. Because the values they put in were actually so minor, it doesn't actually do it. I'm not going to make them go all the way to the third stage. Yeah, I don't think so either. I just want to give them just a second. But no matter what, this is the slowest, worst way to do it. That's true. You're literally just sitting here forever. We might as well just go find some sack to shove up their butts. Now, see, at least these guys can actually use their nose to suck up sap. And the blue guys have mouths to drink sap. What the fuck do the yellow ones use? Never thought about that. They only have ears. What do they use? Yeah. Exactly. Well, the ear has a membrane over it, the eardrum. A vibrating membrane you used to hear. The fuck are they using to eat? Are they just absorbing it somehow? Hey, treasure. Uh -huh. Looks uh, obviously like a Duracell battery. It's obviously a Duracell. They put a lot and lot of money in this game for advertisement. Do you not remember Quantum Break? Me saw it every five seconds. Well, I know, but there it's like one or two things that they know a lot of, and this game is like fucking everything. The that's thing, a problem. The only thing that's not really advertisement that they pay for is like fucking game. Hell, you haven't even gotten to the part of uh, Alan Wake where there's literally every five feet there's a fucking Verizon sign. <laughs> Almost every five feet there's fucking Verizon. <laughs> I know it's an older sign. Because it's the older Verizon symbol. <laughs> yeah, you don't have enough. Yes, right, you gotta switch. You gotta shove them up there! Shove them up there! Let's see, now remember, technically we're the ancient, extinct alien race. So, since they've never seen us, never seen humans. They can't possibly understand. They can't fully understand that those objects are actually very small in comparison to us. So when they start saying stuff like billboards and such, they might actually understand that it is a bat. That that Duracell is a battery. But since they don't understand that, they call it an engine. Because what else could they really compare it to? 
these guys don't seem to be, these guys aren't biologists, they aren't archaeologists, they aren't Xenu archaeologists or Xenu. So they don't have anything else to go on to know that that's just a larger, but not even the largest battery power cell we made. Chemical power cell. So, some of this stuff does make sense that these guys wouldn't actually know what that stuff was. I thought the first time, years ago when I played this game, I thought they were just stupid. No, now I know. It's not that they're stupid, it's just that they have no other way to name to call it. They don't have anything to compare it to. There isn't a living human anywhere that they could really realize that the majority of life from before this time period with the fall of society they have nothing to compare it to to go oh, that's a battery. It's not stupidity, it's not ignorance, it's not it's actually that Nintendo is really smart about it and realize that, yeah, these guys probably have no concept of humans. Without a human to... or any human scale... anything else human scale, they can't know. They think everyone's the same height as them, because apparently most of the universe, all the life they've ever known, was their same size. Humanoids. I bet we'd be like the fucking ultimate boss at the end of the game. If it was a human life, it'd be like a fucking a thousand foot tall than these people. So yeah. Or like a million feet tall and like an unreachable. Nah, it's not a thousand foot, because technically, uh, based off comparison to a battery, the battery there, yeah. Olimar and uh, Louis are probably are maybe a quarter the size of that battery, so they're maybe a quarter inch, half inch. And they've established, according to Nintendo, that they're about an inch or two tall. No, we wouldn't be overly big, but we'd be huge. We'd still be huge. Yeah, just ignore her. She's psycho. Yes? No, you're in the way. Go past. Princess! No, you don't wanna? You just have to stare at her. See, <laughs> just give her a second. Now she's gonna bump up against the microphone so everyone can hear. In case you're wondering what's happening, my dog has gotten in between us. As rubbing up against the tripod, I use my microphones on. So. See, they also possibly, possibly might not know that you can contact, put contacts to both sides and get electrical current out of it. He's a retard. Oh my, he's like, go away! I don't want to get past behind you, you bitch. No, he says, you sleep out here with the orange thing. Never mind, those are some of the last mammals on the planet. But that's if you go to uh, some of the to their species catalogs. You found your first bit of treasure! Fine work! I feel like it ate too quickly, so that's all we can get. That's uh, you. Yeah, sorry people. Our You'll just have to pause it. Uh, we'll slow down e from now on, each day. Our future depends on your efforts, so check your... Treasure... Treasure something regularly. regularly. I'll check in often. Keep up the pace. Oh, I think I got most of the message in. I think the end of it was just, uh, 
him saying his name. Yeah. See, also that 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 treasure hoard. That's what was just that. But in uh, Picklepedia, if you notice on how he talks and all that kind of stuff, there are a few wrong things on his descriptions of species and family relations. Unjustifiable. Oh, oh, you butt hit. Uh, fucking flowers, man. Mm -hmm. The flower wasn't there when we landed. Nope. I'm just gonna skip all this shit. That's just annoying. That's a tutorial. Yeah. No, you fucking want to say it's a tutorial. Unless it's quick. <laughs> it's not quick in big man. It's just. Well, it's out of place. Yeah, it, it seems odd when they place it. It's like ruins. Oh, relax. It just like ruins the game. In case you're wondering, I'm not saying that to him. I'm saying that to the to the fuzzbot sitting next to me, who wants a piece of sandwich. She wants a piece of sandwich now. She wants sandwich. In case you're wondering, we're doing this around lunchtime, so, uh, I got a subway. I'm shoving a subway down my throat. I'm gonna spend five days here. Yeah, spend as much time as you need. I'm gonna get, like, 50 plus pick red pick. And we'll save some grinding in between episodes, too, now then. Yeah, we'll like so you guys won't have to watch that. We'll finish this episode, and I'll have a hundred Pikmin. Now, see, if you go down where uh, Louie was... Over in there. Yes. His mark is still in the snow. But... There is... Yeah. And no snow buildup. <laughs> I well, can't have the path disappear anymore. <laughs> well, no matter what, for at the very least, even if it was very light snow, overnight, his print should be gone. Relax. Oh well. In case, in case you think I'm talking a little weird, my mouth's full. I'm just really weird. You stay there. Actually, you know what? Why don't you just switch to Mr. Retard and then move him? You know what? You're a butthead, dog. Stand up here. <laughs> lucky that I didn't throw one over. But that yeah. would have been too bad. Yes, it would have. Oh. Oh, okay, I see. Those fucks. I'm not pulling them yet. Yeah, I think you just can't... You, you can't, can't do it on the first day, too. Yeah, because they're already starting to get their pole. Buds. Bald is vegetative. Buds are reproductive. Forty-two. Realize this is a biological game. I'm going to be correcting so shit like that. So this might also be that there are different changes are kind of genetic based. But who knows? This is gonna be like half of my force, right? Twenty something. I don't think quite half. It's a little flower. Oh my god, I didn't see that. Yeah, there's a five up there. 
No, I don't. Guys, I think in here. Oh. Yes, you tossed them all up in the middle of nowhere and left. You're a bad Pikmin father. <laughs> I do remember that I leave a lot of them. Yeah. I've done that before. Fuck you, you useless one, aren't you? You're the one who tossed him at the side of the fucking cliff. It's his fault, damn it. Yes, yeah, you're playing your children. First flower. Uh huh. Is, you know, another question. What's with the flowers? I can understand the leaves, but why are there flowers? These guys obviously can't reproduce anymore. So it's either an accessory flower. It's stronger. But it doesn't. It can't, shouldn't do that. A flower is a reproductive structure. It's much. It's quite a bit more delicate. It's not a cone. A it's not them, a strobili, it's a flower. A lot of them are starting to get their, um... What's it called? What? They're closed. Bud. Bud. A lot of them are starting to get their bud, but... Okay, there we go. Now the ones that have their bud. Yeah, I can say that's random. In real life, it'd be genetic variability, and here, it's about the rate of what, what shit you got when. I know you're still sitting there. I got it. You're gonna have to fight the big guy tomorrow. I'm gonna just get, wait till the wolves are currently out. Or just take back the rest. Half the day's gone, so. As soon as they go. Or at least have a bit. Just remember, you can murder them all. A new seed will come out. But we'll finish out this day tomorrow. Well, the next episode, whatever we put that up. It's been like the next two or three days of massive picture. Yeah. And I'll, we'll just do that in between. So you guys won't have to sit through us just unbearably babbling on and touching ourselves. You'll just get to see the big fight that's going to happen pretty soon. And a bigger force of Pikmin finally being built up. Yeah. So thank you all for joining us for Pikmin 2. And next one, more survival followed by death. <laughs>